Keep it up, lads. I want to see my reflection in those floorboards. Get the mast unfurled. Let's catch some of that northern wind. And, lads, come on. We've put land behind us in the day. Can we please sort this cargo out? Some of this food needs to go into storage. And is that room? Handel, you're treating us. Right. I'll pack this one on board. That's not part of the shipment. Anders, did you authorize this? And that crest on the side. Lads, can we crack this one open? <laughs> well, well. What do we have here? All right. Hey, hey, no. Give me that. What's your plan here, Highness? Hey, what do you think is going to happen with that little butter knife? Would you just relax, yeah? If he wanted to attack you, you'd be dead. So, how about you take a deep breath, look at where you are, and figure out a new plan that won't get you killed? Because, I mean, have you even glanced at your surroundings before you start going wild? Yes, your highness, you are on a pirate ship. Figured the flag and the sails were a dead ringer. So, if you would kindly put down that little pig stoker in your hands, knowing you're seriously outgunned, we could have a more civilized conversation. All right, guess, keep waving it around. We all have swords. Your Highness, swords and guns. And, you have a loot, yeah? Well, there you go. Surrounded by swords and guns, and one deranged guy with a loot. Do you really think you're going to win this fight? Yes, I am the captain. What? Okay, damn. You don't need to scream it. You know Parley only works with other pirates, right? You sure as shit don't look like one of us. All right. All right. Anders, could you escort our surprise guest to my quarters? <laughs> ah, nothing like that. Or a fresh and green apple to bring back your energy from being under the sun. <laughs> Want one? No? Ah, sit yourself. We'll have a seat. You look ridiculous standing there all tense and shit. Relax. So... What's royalty the kingdom of Margan doing on my lowly little ship? Of course I know who you are. I couldn't call myself the captain of the heartless pirates if I couldn't pick out a mark. Uh, let me guess, you, you've taken your servant's clothes to disguise yourself. <laughs> a clever trick, considering most would say to use war and travel wear. I'd bet you'd have my whole crew fooled. Uh, but you can't fool me. So, what's this all about? What's the plan here, your highness? Daddy King didn't give you what you wanted, so you run away. <laughs> Seeking adventure on the high seas. Um, so you're headed somewhere. Well, that destination have anything to do with your sudden disappearance, marking a nationwide search. You have no idea what I'm... Okay. Listen here, your highness. I'm not about to risk an unnecessary run-in with a navy just because you have some sea-life fantasies. You see this? Nicked it off some carrier while I was in town. 
This shit hasn't even gone out to the public yet. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, your highness, but that's a lot of gold for your capture. And see this? Dead or alive. Shit like that will have any kind of bounty hunter running. And as tempted as I am to turn you in myself, I am not risking my hide with the royals. Whatever dreams you've got at the moment, end when we drop you at the next island. Do you understand me? Don't give me that look. I couldn't give two shits about you, your highness. Right now you're a liability, a stowaway. I've got no obligation to you. So unless you can beat this price, you're someone else's problem. Ah, oh, and how much is this destination of yours worth? How much are you willing to pay for your freedom? <laughs> what? So I'm sorry. Say that again. Five million gold. I barely even know how many zeros that is. That's how much you're willing to pay us. Yes, I'd assume it was for safe passage. Five million gold. Are you sure you can afford that? You're not exactly packing with the entire royal budget. Oh, okay, okay, sure, sure. Uh, let's agree that you're definitely going to pay us that amount. If I was given even a modicum of interest into your little adventure, where would we be gone? Aishmish. That's the other side of the archipelago. And, oh, so it's safe passage to and from Aishmish. Uh, you're going to pay us. So you're going to pay us, a group of pirates, five million gold, for a simple trade ship journey from Margan to Aishmish. That's it. Uh, what's stopping you from using the Navy fleet at your disposal? <laughs> Can't tell me, huh? Well, if you're going to be with us for the year's journey, I'll find out myself soon enough. Okay, well, I'm assuming you can't pay us right now, and why would you? Chances are we'd take the money and run. No, I'm guessing you have some cash hidden somewhere at home. Uh, but how can I be certain you'd actually pay us, and not get arrested once we get into territory waters? Uh, I'd been spying those glitters of gold on you. <laughs> and I was right. That is the Royal Crest. Is this meant to be some kind of down payment? Yes, yes. I understand the circumstances of payment. All five mil. Once you're safely back home with whatever secret loot you need from Aishmish. Uh, hmm. All right. All right, fine. We'll do it. I'll have you back home in the year. You can trust me on that. But you... Wait, you need to be back sooner than that. But how sooner sooner? A month? <laughs> You're joking, right? We can't possibly sail around the arch... We can't possibly sail around the archipelago there and back in time. Why? Because... Oh, for a client out loud here. This is where we are. The lovely rolling hills and bustling brothels of Margan. And this is Aishmish, home of the raging lunatics. And all this between, this is the mess we call the archipelago. It's a generous splattering of random islands and even more random rivers and currents. You've got to get through natives, cutthroats, various kinds of magic, and then once you're past all that, we hit the waters nearest the Aishmoosh port. Uh, every sailor calls it the Dead Sea, and anyone worth their salt knows it's instant death. Oh, you're joking. Have you never set foot off the docks of Margan before? 
because it's filled with nasty sea creatures, with mermaids and ghost ships, with a kraken. And if you're some desperately unlucky sod, you'll meet Captain Davy Jones before your time. No, I'm not lying. I'm serious. This is shit waters that not even I, a master pirate and helmsman, can even navigate. There's no way to navigate unless you know how to read the stars, which, yes, I can do. But I'm not risking my men going through there. I lose the men, I lose the ship. Simple as that. The best I can do is sail through calmer archipelago waters. Then at this island, go south, risk torrential storms at this time of year, and then come up to Ishmael from the coast. Oh, uh, it'll be, let's see, um, two months, uh, about two months in total. And that's certainly if we don't encounter anything ridiculously life-threatening. Uh, look at you, you naive, noble shit. I'm not going through Dead Sea. No amount of gold is worth that much. You can find yourself another idiotic captain of another idiotic pirate ship to take you through there. But I can tell you, you'll never see the green grass of Ishmael if you do. Two months. Take it, or we dump you to icy waters. Ha 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 ha, finally. You do have some semblance of self-preservation. After all... If that's our agreement, then all that's left to do, I suppose, is shake on it. Huh? What? Nothing more solid than a pact like this. Or, okay, well, a blood pact would seal it tighter. But last time I did it on one of those, well, I'll save it the gory details. Go on now, your highness. If you want to be a pirate, this is the way to go. There you go. Welcome to the crew, your highness. We can sort out specifics later on. But for now, let's celebrate this new partnership. Eh, well, not exactly a partnership. It's more like you're working for me. Eh, fine, fine. A benefactor, then. You're my benefactor. No, I'm not just a gun for hire. Don't be ridiculous. You know we can still just toss you overboard, right? 